Okay, and we can do this in studio mode, right? Correct. Let me switch to studio mode so I can see my normal thing. Now, when I hit transition, it's when it switches to the screen on the left yep. again. Okay. And you guys can take it away. All right. Uh, all right. So we are streaming. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to Thursday Night Throwdown on this beautiful Thursday night. I'll be your host tonight, uh, Diablo or El Diablo. And joining me tonight is Bourbon. What's up? What's up? How's the weather in Colorado, my friend? Uh, it's not too shabby right now. Um, cold in the mornings and hot in the, hot in the afternoon. So. Any snow flurries? Not yet. Not not where I'm at. Okay. So. Okay. How's the Minnesota life? Minnesota, we've had one snowfall so far. It lasted about half a day. Um, it's been pretty cold this week up until like today, and then it's back in the 70s this weekend. So we get that surprise second summer like we usually do. Nice. Yeah. Nice. But the uh, the dock's coming out this weekend. The boat's getting winterized. As much as I'm tempted to put it back in the water and uh, go throw the kids around on the, on the inner tube. I think the water's probably a little too cold for that. <laughs> they got to learn somehow, right? They got to learn. Well, you know, kids don't feel anything below the, below the little neck. They're, yeah. they're, too, du they're yeah. too dumb to feel cold. Yeah, as, as most adult humans are as well. Dice are hitting we the table. Dice are hitting the table, so we are going to... Go over to the tabletop. Tonight we are playing Overrun, one of the newer 350 scenarios. We've got Tommy versus Matt. Um, and I am trying to figure out by the knuckles that I see uh, who's who <laughs> on the table. I believe uh, Matt is on the left and Tommy's on the right. You can tell by the lack of movement from Tommy. Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Very good. He's very economical in his movements. You know, wherever you can conserve energy. Yep, yep, you're right. That's Tommy. Whenever you can conserve energy in your movements, you can, you know, use that energy for, I don't know, rolling dice. That's right. Rolling dice Thinking better. Stuff. Honing your technique. All right, starting out with uh, an abundance of good... land. Good terrain placement going on there. That's interesting. That's trying to sure. block them down. So Overrun is, yeah, like I said, one of the newer scenarios. Um, there are four zones over the course of the entire field. Um, laterally positioned. So there's zones. There's two home zones, which is the entire uh, uh, quarter of the map on each player's side, and then another two zones in the center split evenly down the midline. Um, and the idea is to control each of these zones with your weight class. Um, in this scenario, the infantry and protomex do count as size one for territory control. Interesting. We got uh, Matt continuing to Put all that terrain down on that side. I'm kind of wondering. I'm excited to see what that's all about. He's really loading up Tommy's side. Right. But uh, to continue with the rules, your home zone does not count towards any points for yourself to control. Zone The two middle zones count one point each. And if you're able to take control of your opponent's home zone, that is two points. So there's your four objective points that are typical of the 350s. Um, if at any point in time you do control all four zones, or not all four zones, but four points worth of zones, uh, game is over. Uh, Bourbon, have yeah, you, ever, you ever played this one before? I did once in the uh, Colorado uh, Premier Open we had out here back in July, I think. Okay. And uh, it was the first time I'd ever played it, and I lost, I think I lost uh, 
three to two, I think. Um, okay. Just not familiar with what the scenario really entailed and uh, the forces I brought just weren't really cut out to uh, do what it needed to do for it. So, sure. um, but I definitely learned some things in that, that little, uh, that one time playing it. So sure. hopefully I can uh, do a rebound and uh, get a little bit better out to, at that one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a few times to play through a game before you kind of get the knack of it. I like that they're adding yeah. buildings to the terrain uh, options. I like that they're playing a lot of them. I've been wanting for um, completely blocking terrain for quite a while. What do we got here? What is that? Charlie Company original. Charlie something, Company something, something. hot dog cider. Oh my goodness. Nice. <laughs> here we go. I can dig it. I yeah. Dig it. I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. I, I am impressed with the. Uh, Backed by Maj with... Rillers. 69.3% satisfaction. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I can dig it. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, the solidarity behind the hot dog cider in Charlie Company. That's for sure. <laughs> Funny how yeah, one but, offhand comment can really uh, shape the uh, personality of a of a unit. <laughs> right. All right. Looks like we're placing some mechs now. Let's do it. Why uh, units? Uh, Oof. Matt is not looking like he's got much cover. I'm guessing he's not planning yeah. on using it. Tommy with that big eleven rolling in there. Okay, so let's so just take a moment. Be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Let's take a minute. Oh, I think he started the clock. That's right, I forgot to do that. <laughs> let's see. So let's take a minute and look at what units have been brought to the table. On that side, we've got a... Uh, Masakari Warhawk C coming in at a whopping 64 points. Stormcrow Prime, a Nova Prime, a couple of uh, elemental battle armors, the Laser Edition, Gray Death Standard Suit Laser Edition as well. So it looks like we got the, uh, the cowboys and the horses they're riding in on. Definitely an interesting mix on uh, Bloodbath's part. Um, that Masakari is a big point suck right there. Yeah, it is. That's a big. That's a big monster. Let me check check out the uh, stats on that bad boy real quick. Yeah, looking at nine armor, five structure, oh, six at short, it. medium, and long. There you go. Can't quite hear what he's saying, but uh Oh, he's talking about our my podcast on on our end out here in Colorado. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I actually started listening to that. So sounds like you're you? having fun over there. Yeah, oh yeah, you bet. You bet. That's awesome. First thing I'm thinking about is you know, these guys are taking the uh battlefield support cards at this point in time. And I'm thinking, you know, that um that those uh battle or power armors. Or battle armors are going to be uh, a little bit um, subjected to some hellfire from above. Those guys are going to yeah, be vulnerable. Yeah, I'm curious to see what Matt riding. does with those. Yep. Is he going to leave them on and use them as extra armor, or uh, you know, deploy them and let them let them play around a little bit? Well, the problem with artillery strikes is they're going to hit everything inside the the template, so they're going to hit both the battle armor and the rides they're riding in on. At the same time, if they don't, That's they don't true. get to act That's as true. armor in that case. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take let's take a peek at what the opposition's bring into the table. Pretty interesting on Tommy's side. He went a little little short. Four Just units. Four units. <laughs> uh, a bunch of monsters there. We got a blood ass bee. 
Linebacker D, which brings some bruising for sure. That monster it's got Heimdall. decent movement profile. Oh, yeah, yeah that, you bet that it is. You bet it is. Yeah, those uh, linebacker Ds are, are uh, not messing around. Yeah. That Heimdall, though, with that 12 points of armor, good Lord. <laughs> yeah, you'd be, you'd be shooting that, that thing is... for miles. And you're going to have to eat away at that thing for a little bit. You bet. And then the Athena coming in at a low, low 38-point value. Still bringing some hurt with that 664 uh, bracket damage profile. Yeah, I mean, his his least damaging unit is the Heimdall with 6-6 six, six, and 2. That's, that's, uh, that's nothing to sneeze at. And here's the thing with taking four units for a game that has four zones that you need to control. I'm yeah. thinking Tommy's going to have a hard time controlling anything with these guys. And truth be told, you know, yeah, Athena, true. the Heimdall, the Blood Ass, those are all size fours. So, you know, they'll certainly carry their weight, but they're so slow. They're going to take forever to get across the board. Yeah. So I think that Blood Ass was rolling at about, what, six, six inches of movement? The blood ass? Eight inches. Yeah, eight enough. inches of movement. All right. Eight inches. I was going to say, I thought they were a little bit quicker than six. Yeah. I know the Heimdall's running six inches. Yeah, those Heimdalls are slow. My uh, strategy for this scenario has always been to leave my big tank, big scary monster, whoever it is that doesn't move fast, leave them on my home zone because I got a puppy guard that to keep my opponent from taking it. And, right. Uh, I'll, right. I'll usually try to have a, an assault size mech or an assault size tank, something big to just home or guard the home home plate. So you've got to come and get it with a lot of, a lot of either smaller units. Um, but whoever comes to my side of the table are going to, going to get punished for it. Yeah, and that's that's what happened in in the game. The one overrun game I played is I had two LRM carriers sitting in my home zone, just waiting All for right. somebody to pull pull into it, you know. And uh, those are didn't size turn threes, out so right? well. Those are heavy. Yeah, 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 they were size threes. Okay, yeah, you have to bring a lot of a lot of stuff to to counter that, and then you can just yeah. sit back and hold still and just shoot those LRMs. Or those that's yep. five at long range, right? Uh, those were the, I was running an SLDF list, so they were threes. Three at long range. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, that's, yeah. that's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, if you can shoot, hit pretty much anywhere on the board. Yeah. Well, and it was, well it was two, them. it was two of them too. So, uh, it, you know, wasn't uh, anything to be, uh, be to trifled with a little bit, you know? Sure. Looks like we got some movement going on there. You bet. Who's that that's moving up? I'm still trying to make out individual units. That looks like, I don't know. It doesn't look like any of them. I wonder if he's using a proxy. <laughs> yeah, I know. That might be the Matsukari. I, I think Tom... that was the Matsukari. Um, that might be the Ryokin. Uh, Sorry, Storm Crow for all you clanners. Right. I try to be a clanner, but I keep on using the Inner Sphere uh, names. Yeah, it's it's tough for me, man. I'm, you know, it's it's very difficult for me to play clans. You know, growing up in the BattleTech world that I did, you know, when yeah. before the clans even showed up, so um, it's hard for me to not think of them as the bad guys. <laughs> right. Chris Hesby asks, are there minis in the game? I'm going to write back. This game isn't about minis. <laughs> oh, dear. Anybody else uh, getting getting tired of that joke? <laughs> That one's been running for a while. Everybody's been having fun with it. I think we need to have like a uh, a uh, a Bob holiday or something. 
a Bob holiday. Yeah, we could call him. You know, this this is like this is like uh, General Kerensky leaving, right? He just he was sick of stuff and he just left. So uh, Bob up and left and let us all know he was going, and and there we go. That's what's been going on on the um, BattleTech community Facebook page. There's been a lot of roasting going on. Have you have you not been seeing that? No, I haven't. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, get on the BattleTech yeah. uh, community Facebook page. It's all over the place. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> looks like we looks like we got some sprinting going on here. We got a uh, Athena sprinting forward. I, I think he's proxying everything. I don't see a blood asp. I don't see a linebacker. I don't see an Heimdall, and I don't see an Athena. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to so tell like... <laughs> what he's got going on there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask a coach if everything on uh, Tommy's is a proxy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so yeah, we definitely got the the Nova, and yeah, I think you're right. I think it's the Ryokin hiding behind or the Stormcrow hiding behind the building there, and then yeah, that's got to be the Warhawk. In the corner. I, no, I think his Warhawk is down in that left corner down there, uh, getting ready to jump into them woods or going to those woods somewhere. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Yeah, down in the that corner. I think that's where he's about to move. So, so the Regent is the Blood Asp. All right. The Regent. Okay, so which one's the Regent? <laughs> okay, the Vulture is the line. I can, I can tell which one the Vulture is. Vulture is the linebacker. Regent's the Blood Asp. Shinan is the Heimdall. <laughs> All right. Yep, 100% proxies, baby. I love it. Fantastic. Wow. It's like playing Necrons when all you got is a uh, um, whole bunch of Space Marines. Yeah. Ooh, got some uh, BSP about to drop down. Interesting. Oof. Let's see if I can get uh, them to hold up their BSP cards. Language, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. There we go. All right, so we got a heavy strike coming on. So target number to hit was six. I didn't quite see that long enough but uh, I do not have these cards myself so I can't I don't really know what what they are or what they do he has to roll a six to yeah, hit, and I think it's two damage yep I think so <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he, he rolled loved it loved it so you, All right. so you get some one. scatter I guess heavy bombing roll the seven two damage area effect Oh. All right, so we hit with the second one. All right, we landed two damage on the Shodan slash Athena. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Anything on so, the motive? I didn't catch it. Hmm. 
minus two inches. Okay, so yeah, you got a motive on him. Very nice. 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 Did I just hear somebody? I think they just had some join us, Sean. Ooh. Somebody join us? I think so, Mr. Chandler. I, I got it fixed. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, well. I I got a new monitor, and it apparently has speakers. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Chandler. Well, welcome. Yeah, welcome to the show, sir. Here to watch them roll them dice. Nothing but misses. Fantastic. You still there, Chandler? I'm here, yeah. Sorry, I was trying oh, to figure out my uh, my stuff. That's all right. Aren't we all just trying to figure out our because stuff? Because I got like weird echo between the Discord and the YouTube, and the slight latency. It, it it's weird. Right. Yeah. You can just mute the YouTube, and then you should you can just, have a I less, can just less watch his stream instead of watching on YouTube. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Hey man, we're all just trying to figure out our own stuff. Technology's weird, man. Like you think as being one of them youngsters, I'd be able to figure it out, but no. I know. I know. Right. Whippersnappers. What is that model <laughs> next to the uh vulture? That so is a... he yeah, yeah, it's regent. a regent. It's a regent. So, <laughs> yeah, to, uh, Tommy is running one hundred percent. Uh, um, proxy models tonight. I think. I oh think my need god! To make I, I suppose award. that is a region. Yeah. <laughs> that is the most excited region I've ever seen. <laughs> right. <laughs> it has places to be. Yeah. It's got to be one of those things running in slow motion. Its legs are just as spread out as it can be, just molasses across the field. Yeah. So that's a pretty impressive model. Even have it touch. Oh, you bet. You bet. We just need to get some paint on that bad boy. Yeah, one day. <laughs> you bet. One day. Chandler, where are you located out of? I am out of Southern California. You know, sunny Southern, Southern California. California. All right. Yeah. One of the so we've West got Coast. A Minnesotan, kids. a Coloradan, a Californian, all watching a game occurring in I Iowa. It sounds like we got a quorum for the United States. You got it. We just I think so. We can start making some changes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's enact policy here tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are all the most qualified. <laughs> exactly. You got that right. <laughs> Sunny California. All right. How's the weather out there? Uh, nice. Uh, you know. We we had a little bit of a heat wave this week, but it's cooling back down again, so that's nice. Okay. Upper 70s, sunshine perpetually. Uh, um it it's been pretty or, sunny. Or I'm trying to look up the uh the forecast for the weekend. You think it'd be real easy with the internet. Uh yeah, heavy it, it, it hit out. 90 today actually. Oh jeez, okay. <laughs> All right, we are heavy bombing, it looks like. Roll to hit seven, yes. two damage the value, target number. area effect. Okay, these are the new uh, cards which they've been testing out lately. Trying to get an idea. I think I could see my reflection in that card. It was close. It was close. <laughs> it was some fine definition. Yeah. 
And the other ones, they and have a heavy strike. Okay. Oh. Pulling out the big guns. Yeah. yeah. Target number six, damage value two. Not applicable damage type. I guess that just means you have to hit a target. I would assume. Uh, my my guess is that it's for uh, specialty armors. So it doesn't have specialty a... Specialty armors. Uh, yeah, so like uh, Ballistic Green Forest, Reflective, something like that. It mm -hmm. isn't affected by them, as opposed to, say, a bomb. Yeah, because sure. that first one he held up, what was that, the heavy bombing? And that yeah, was, was an that area, area, of effect. Effect, area of effect. Yeah. Charles says, someone called Josh, got to get a rep from every BT podcast doing, or during, I assume, during play. <laughs> yeah, we got to get, we got to get Mech Bay on here. Yep, got to yeah. get the Mech Bay over yeah, here. Get everyone on. Get the full family. That'd Look, awesome. if, we, if we all get on, we can make, we can dictate policy for the Battletech community, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is what's happening in CGL. This is how it's going to oh, go. Oh, dear. Down. I wonder if, I wonder if someone in, uh, we're going to get uh, a new CGL rule book is... for just vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> or a CGL, the they're like looking at each other right now and they're saying something's wrong what's, what's happening Sense here there's no yeah. disturbance in the force so Sean you're going to uh, LBO right you better believe it baby yeah and Chandler's going too huh yeah I, I'm well within Fantastic. driving distance it's like a five hour drive for me So yeah that's not too shabby I was yeah, hoping to have, uh, you know, someone to drive there with me, but all the Southern California folks are like, yeah, my wife's going. I'm like, dang it. And they're like, no. I gotta do a five-hour drive by myself. Oh, man. It means I have to pay gas both ways. Yeah, pretty much, uh, I think four out of five of us from the Valhalla Club are uh, all carpooling down there. Nice. Okay, but, so you're going to be there. I think that we're that going to try and film or uh, record an episode in the car on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't awesome. sound like chaos at all oh it's gonna be fantastic i mean let's be honest our podcast is a little bit crazy anyway so <laughs> we're not as polished as everybody else is <laughs> ah you'll get there don't worry <laughs> hey you guys already I'm, have I'm a soundtrack not. to start your your show so you're doing great we do we do we got, a, we got a soundtrack to start the show i just just got a soundtrack to introduce the uh the the BattleTech drink of the month. So, it's, oh, uh, all right. Yes, I've drink. Uh, I I guess I'm gonna have to start listening now. <laughs> yeah, BattleTech. I... Uh, you know, there's a lot, but drink of the month. Hold on now. Yeah, we got drink of the month going on, man. Well, I won't ask you for any spoilers because I'll I'll let you save that for the podcast itself. You gotta have gotta yeah, have, absolutely. Uh, people absolutely. wanting it. Yes. I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and co-op brood a little bit, Chandler. Uh oh, just for well, the drink on. of the month piece. Oh okay, yeah that that is. Uh, that is I need a tester. <laughs> uh oh, we got some fine. Just, just fine have him test uh, Sunday during the day, and I'll be able to tell how good the drink was by uh, there you go. how he how he records. <laughs> it's like Matt's gonna be peeking around the corner here, looking for a shot down the the gauntlet between the buildings. Let's see. He's shooting. Yep. Going to be shooting at the Shodan slash Athena. <laughs> I got notes Athena. here from, from yep. Aaron saying uh, which one's which. Yeah, the Shodan is the Athena. I and it looks really like get around the building my Athenas. <laughs> so it looks like that Masakari also has shots on that Athena too. So that's going to be. Uh, I got be it looks like it does. Way. Be curious what Tommy does with oh, that uh, Regent oh, slash I am Blood totally... I'm totally messing up here. I got to, uh, I gotta, I gotta use my Telecaster, tele, Telestrator. We got a, oh, guy yeah. guys here. Some... Looks like he's got a nice shot right there. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Oh, and then we got the Massacre back here, pew pewing all the way down as well, right there, and it's gonna go. Yeah, <laughs> an accurate rendition. <laughs> Oh, I can't forget to use my telestrator. Tel that's right. That's right. You got to pull the Madden yeah. on us. You got it, baby. I'm just mm -hmm. going to talk a little bit more in a deeper voice. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, looks like we got some deployed infantry out there. Yeah, there baby. Go. Oh, yeah. Who do we got here? I'm one of the elemental squads. 
Yeah. Or is that the Grey Deaths? That's a Can't good question. Tell. I'm going to guess the Grey Deaths, because I'd assume he'd be using his fancy schmancy new Elemental squads from the Cal- uh, the Clan Invasion Kickstarter for Elementals. Yeah, I wonder if they got the range, so. though. Uh, what is it? Grey Death Standard Laser? Yeah. yeah what's a, what's a, what's a I will check. Cowboys? Well, I mean, we could look right back at... I their, feel like they have uh, medium. Let's see. This is this is left player. Let's switch to left player. We should be able to see uh, what they got. Uh, Gray oh, Death has got six, a two at short, oh. nothing at medium, nothing at long. He beat me to it because I spelled it with an E. Yeah. What am I telling? Oh. They figured they figured it out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure enough. Cats out of the bag. Yep, yep. It's, yeah. it's 